Eight Steps Why Pornography Can Have Various Damaging Effects, Both Psychologically and Relationally. Here are a few. Number one, unrealistic expectations. One of the main issues with pornography is that it can create unrealistic expectations about sexual relationships and the human body leading to disappointment and frustration in real life relationships. Number two, addiction. Pornography can be addictive. Like other addictions, it can result in spending an excessive amount of time seeking out and consuming pornography, neglecting important aspects of life such as work, school, relationships, or church, Number three, desensitization. Regular consumption of pornography can lead to desensitization, meaning that over time, more explicit or diverse material might be required to achieve the same level of arousal or excitement. This could potentially affect sexual satisfaction within a person's real life sexual relationships. Number four, relationship problems. Studies have indicated and shown that consumption of pornography can contribute to dissatisfaction in relationships, sexual dysfunction, and even lead to infidelity. Number five, negative self-perceptions. Some pornography consumers report negative self perceptions such as feelings of inadequacy, anxiety, and depression. Number six, objectification. Regular exposure to pornography can contribute to objectification of individuals, particularly women, seeing them primarily as sexual objects rather than as whole, complex human beings. Number seven, potential legal and ethical issues. Some types of pornography involve exploitation, non-consensual activities, or underaged individuals, leading to legal and ethical issues. Number eight, distorted view of sexual consent. All pornography doesn't provide an accurate portrayal of healthy sexual consent which can distort a viewer's understanding of what consent means and looks like in a real life sexual encounter. This is especially particular amongst teenagers or young adults who start engaging in pornography activities. It's clear that pornography can have various detrimental effects, but remember, Acknowledging these issues is the first step towards progress. If you find yourself struggling with pornography, it's crucial to take action today. Begin by understanding the root cause of the allure. Seek professional help, such as a therapist or a counselor, and engage with supportive communities to help to accountability. You might also consider using tools such as internet filters to limit exposure. It's important to note that the path to overcoming a struggle with pornography is not easy and relapses can occur. In such times, rather than giving up, remember to learn from these moments and stay resilient in your journey towards a healthier mindset and relationships. Embrace the courage it takes to make this change and take your first step toward today. And on a personal note, I have to say, being a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, we are opposed and against pornography use and or any forms of pornography is unacceptable. However, we have programs in place that can help. So if you would like to find out where you can speak to a bishop in your area, there is a link below that you can make an appointment to speak with the bishop. They have many resources, therapists, counselors, 
self-reliance programs, and things that can help you to attain help and healthy support by developing a healthy support system. Another key attribute, when I was speaking with a friend who was dealing with pornography, he told me that he moved his computer to the living room. He had it facing so that everybody could see it. It was no longer hidden in a corner where people couldn't see him behind a desk in what he was doing. He now had his, his computer screen facing so that the whole family could see what his activities were doing. I thought that was an extremely healthy way of holding himself accountable.